Brought to you by wikivd.com. Fernando Tatis Fernando Tatis Jr. is a Dominican former professional baseball third baseman. Over his 11-year Major League Baseball career, he played for the Texas Rangers, Street, Louis Cardinals, Montreal Expos, Baltimore Orioles, and the New York Mets. Tatis holds the Major League record for RBIs in an inning, a feat that he achieved by hitting two Grand Slam home runs in one inning during a game on April 23, 1999, becoming the only player in Major League history to do so. Playing career At the age of 17, Tatis was signed as an amateur free agent by Omar Minaya and the Texas Rangers on August 25, 1992. He played his first game in Major League Baseball, with the Rangers, at third base, almost five years later on July 26, 1997, and went on to play 60 games with the Rangers in his rookie season. At the trade deadline on July 31, 1998, the Rangers traded Tatties along with Darren Oliver and Mark Little to the St. Louis Cardinals for Royce Clayton and Todd Stottlemyre. Tatties had the best season of his career in 1999 with the St. Louis Cardinals. He hit 34 home runs with 107 RBIs and 21 stolen bases, with a 298 batting average. On April 23, 1999, Tatties made baseball history when he hit two grand slams in one inning. As of 2017, he is still the only batter in MLB history. To accomplish this, Tatis hit both of his grand slams against the pitcher Chan Ho Park of the Los Angeles Dodgers. With his home run feat, Tatis also set a major league record with eight runs batted in during a single inning. After playing in only 96 games for the Cardinals in 2000, because of an injury, Tatis was traded to the Montreal Expos along with Britt Reams. For Dustin Hermanson and Steve Klein, Tatis played in just 208 games out of a possible 486 over three seasons with the Expos because of an assortment of physical injuries. The Tampa Bay Devil Rays invited Tatis to spring training in 2004, but he did not make the team and was released. Tatis next did not play professional baseball for two seasons and resided in the Dominican Republic. The Baltimore Orioles signed Tatis to a minor league contract on November 25, 2005. Tatis returned to baseball in order to raise money to build a church. He played most of the season for the AAA baseball, the Ottawa Lynx, eventually playing in 28 games for the Orioles after being called up on July 21, 2006. In 2007, Tatis was invited to spring training with the Los Angeles Dodgers. After being assigned to minor league baseball camp, Tatis was granted his request to be released from his contract on March 14. Just nine days later, he signed a minor league contract with the New York Mets and spent the 2007 season with its AAA affiliate, the New Orleans Zephyrs. On May 11, 2008, Tatis was called up from the Zephyrs. To replace Angel Pagan, Tatis had started to play the outfield in the minor leagues in order to become a more diversified player. On May 28, Tatis hit a walk-off double against Justin Miller to defeat the Florida Marlins in the bottom of the 12th inning. This was Tatis' first career walk-off hit. Tatis played most of his time with the Mets in left field and right field because of injuries to the usual starters Moise Alou and Ryan Church. On September 16, 2008, Tatis separated his shoulder after diving for a fly ball in a game against the Washington Nationals. The Mets team physician diagnosed the injury as being a grade 3 separation, but Tatis missed the rest of the 2008 regular season. Despite missing the end of the season, on October 23, 2008, Tatis received the Sporting News Comeback Player of the Year award. For the National League, Tatis was named to the Dominican Republic national baseball team for the 2009 World Baseball Classic as a replacement for Alex Rodriguez, who was injured. Tatis played intermittently for the Mets in 2009 and 2010. His last major league game was on July 4, 2010. 
He was also the latest New York Met to wear uniform number 17, which was then taken out of circulation for Keith Hernandez due to public outcry. For his career, he batted 265 with 113 home runs and 448 RBIs. On October 5, 2014, Tatis announced his retirement from professional baseball. Personal life Fernando, Jr.'s father, Fernando, Sr. was also a professional baseball player. He reached as high as Class RR in the Houston Astros system before retiring in 1978 and moving on to coaching and scouting Houston's minor leaguers. The elder Tatis disappeared from Fernando's life when he was four years old. The two were not reunited until 1997 when Tatis, Jr. was a rookie with the Texas Rangers. Rangers scout Omar Minaya, who Tatis described as a father figure, helped to discover Tatis, Sr. residing in Sarasota, Florida. Tatis' son, Fernando Tatis Jr., is a shortstop prospect. Thank you for watching, brought to you by wikivd.com. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.